Hey, well, that's you into uh, tonight's video. We're going to do Snow Watch again this evening. So we've got this band of rain coming down across the country. Well, it's already in across Scotland and Northern Ireland, mainly as rain. Uh, it'll be moving southwards and eastwards overnight tonight. And then it'll come to a bit of a halt tomorrow across England and Wales, giving it a thoroughly wet and miserable day. Now, there's cold air tucking in behind this, uh, this front, this band of rain. And on Wednesday night, tomorrow night and into Thursday morning, that could turn some of the rain to snow. Now, exactly where that snow is going to be, how much is going to be uh, of snow falling. Um, it's very uncertain. It has been downgraded a little bit over the last 24 hours. You remember when we did Snow Watch last night, the suggestion was that this system was going to stall um, across central parts of the country, particularly through the Midlands, central southern England, all day Thursday. Uh, it was being predicted to be snowing um, on Thursday, right way through the day across the Midlands and central southern parts of England. The idea now is to shunt that uh, front quite quickly across uh, to the eastern side of the country during Thursday morning. So this limits the snowfall potential. But uh, even so, on Wednesday night and early on Thursday morning, some of us could wake up to a little bit of snow. And over high ground, you might get a covering. So places like Buxton should be in for a covering of snow, I think, on Thursday morning. But on lower ground, not sure there'll be enough recovering. But there should be some snow around in places. We'll have a look at the charts in a second. Just very quick to mention the ads. There's links to my course on the page that gets up his have browse widgets and click through those links as any have to if there's any articles that you are interested in. And thanks very much for doing that. So these are the facts charts. I showed you these last night. Uh, this is the human interpretation of the models by the forecasters at the UK Metis. This first chart is for midnight. Um, no, sorry, actually, it's for 6 o'clock in the morning on Wednesday. 6 o'clock in the morning tomorrow. And, uh, well, you see this... Uh, uh, several fronts strung out across the country. So there's one, two, three of them uh, through the country at that point, six o'clock in the morning. Um, they'll bring a lot of heavy rain through uh, northern parts of England, Wales, and southwest England in particular through the course of tomorrow morning. We go through to uh, midday tomorrow, and it's all sort of simplifying and just turning into one main front that's strung out across the country. Again, bands of rain running uh, along this front, ripples of rain. Uh, will be producing really quite a cold, wet, miserable day in many parts of England and Wales. East Anglia, the far south east thing, just about staying out of trouble everywhere, elsewhere. It does look quite a miserable day. We get through into midnight on Thursday, and that front is still with us. There's a little area of low pressure developing on that front as well. This little kink in the isobars just here. Um, so that's just enhancing the precipitation. That could be the greatest wintry potential in the early hours of uh, Thursday morning on that little area of low pressure that's developing along this front. Generally, it's a band of rain that will turn increasingly wintry through the early hours of Thursday. And then we move through into, uh, this is taking us to midday Thursday, and that front then is pushing away. So you remember yesterday, the idea was to keep that front really strung out through England and Wales throughout the whole of Thursday before it cleared away to the east in the early hours of Friday, or basically just died a death. Um, the idea now is very quickly through Thursday morning to move that front away to the east, so we're not stalling the front through the course of Thursday. Consequently, although we may start off with some sleet or snow, particularly through parts of the Midlands, northeastern England, and maybe down to the southern parts of England, uh, that will probably push through to east and southeastern England through the morning, it will keep moving, so it may only be an hour or two of wintry weather in the southeast before it clears out of the way. This is the precipitation uh, forecast from the GFS model. So this is for midnight uh, tonight, midnight Wednesday. And you see the rain's in across Scotland, Northern Ireland, Northern England. Uh, snow really just confined to the tops of the hills and the mountains up here. We go through to uh, midday on Wednesday. And that weather front is pushing southwards and eastwards, bringing heavy rain to Northern England, Wales and southwestern England through the course of Wednesday morning. Could be a little bit of snow over the Pennines, but only over top of the mountains and the Pennines Welsh mountain places like that. Uh, then the front is coming to a bit of a standstill on Wednesday afternoon. So it's through northern England still, down into the Midlands, southwest England. Could be a little bit of winchiness beginning to turn up along this front at this point. But it really be as we get through to the early hours, I think, of Thursday morning. So you see 
the game. The front has stalled here overnight Wednesday into Thursday. It's still there across northern England, through the Midlands, down to central southern parts of England. It'll be at this point, around midnight into the early hours of Thursday, that have the greatest risk of that rain turning to snow, particularly on the back edge, but maybe even a little bit further underneath that weather front. If the precipitation is heavy enough, the evaporative cooling effect could pull the dew points down just enough to turn some of that heavier stuff to uh, snow through the early hours of Thursday morning. And then through uh, Thursday, itself is 6 o'clock in the morning, we see that front is beginning to push eastwards, so we get through to midday, and it's really confined to East Anglia, South East England. This probably bring a wintry mix here to East Anglia, South East parts of England, but I doubt it'll be anything more substantial than that. This is from the weatheroutlook.com. This is the precipitation type forecast uh, from the weather outlook. And um, we've just clicked over there. I'm not sure quite what went wrong there, so I'm just going to click backwards. Uh, this is the uh, precipitation type forecast from the weather outlook. Um, and I've got it all set up, but now I've got to sort myself out again. So we're going to go to uh, UK precipitation type, and then we're going to go to around 36 hours, something like that. There we go, which takes us to midnight on Thursday. And we can see at midnight on Thursday, we've got that band of heavy rain there across much of England and Wales. Some snow across northern England and North Wales. Nothing particularly dramatic going on. To 3 o'clock in the morning, heavy rain into East Anglia, South East England. A little bit of snow. It's definitely a downgrade on what we've seen yesterday. A little bit of snow across northern England coming down into the North Midlands. And then through 6 o'clock in the morning, it does finally give us a period of snow here through northern England and the Midlands. Um, I'm not sure how long it'll be last because very quickly it's moving off to the east. So by 9 o'clock it's already pushing over towards East Anglia, South Eastern England. As a wintry mix, it does bring some wintry conditions to East Anglia, South East England. But this is not the snow event that the model was hinting at uh, on these charts last night. There's a period of wintry weather coming through, a period of sleet or snow, nothing overly dramatic. The uh, snow depth forecast from a GFS model is showing anything from around 1 to 5 centimetres. So there could be a little covering of snow in some places. You see that is most likely for northern England, parts of Wales, down into Midlands, particularly the north and the east Midlands, and going over towards East Sandy. This is at midday on Thursday when the thing is all over and done with. Um, so that's how the GFS is looking. This is the high-resolution Euro 4 model from website Weather Online. You can find a link to all of these websites, whether, uh, whether online, weatheroutlook.com, or use Metro Seal in the moment. You can find a link to all of these websites on the links page. This is the precipitation type forecast from a Euro 4 model, uh, and it's for um, uh, 6 o'clock in the evening on Wednesday. And again, this band of rain is through much of England and Wales, only a little bit of snow across the Pennines, right on the tops of the mountains. Midnight shows a little bit more snow appearing, particularly coming down into the North Midlands, perhaps. So something like Buxton could get quite a covering of snow. But again, generally, quite a bit of rain, even at midnight on Thursday. And then we go through to 6 o'clock in the morning, on Thursday, and it's all pushing eastwards, and it's, it's fizzling out as well as it does so. But, so this really does imply a bit of a non-event, uh, really. Have a look at the snow accumulation up to 6 o'clock in the morning on Thursday from the Euro 4 model, and there's barely any snow cover being predicted here. Uh, that's very disappointing from the Euro 4. And then finally, uh, look at the WRF. This is a high-resolution model from America. This is what's like Metro Seal. This would be, again, precipitation forecast for eight o'clock in the evening uh, tomorrow on Wednesday again you see the rain is mostly through England just clearing Wales and South West England but much of England looking wet at that point uh, as we run through the evening and into the night of Wednesday into the early hours of Thursday you see some of this is turning to snow there's definitely snow appearing there in the early hours of uh, Thursday morning, but it all looks quite light, really. Um, not sure there's enough there to give a covering of snow. And then through Thursday itself, that goes off into East Anglia, dying out as it does so. Um, and again, nothing much really happening there. So the, there's definitely been a downgrade over the last 24 hours. Um, I think we probably will still get some snow late Wednesday into early hours of Thursday. It's most likely to be across northern England, 
over the high ground, uh, the Welsh mountains, down in towards the north Midlands, possibly a little bit into the east Midlands as well in the early hours of Thursday. Um, will there be enough recovering? There could be a covering of snow over high ground. I'm a bit dubious about whether we'll have enough really on uh, lower ground. Of course, it might get upgraded again over the next 24 hours, so we'll have to keep an eye on it. Just because it's been downgraded from what we saw yesterday doesn't mean it can't get upgraded again over the next few hours. It's always very, very difficult to forecast snow in this country, as I always say. These models really struggle with it. So um, let's just wait and see. I'll probably do another uh, so much update tomorrow afternoon. Of course, it's five-day forecast tomorrow, so that'll cover the period as well. Uh, but that's all for now. Thanks for watching.